Shepard the Dale, Shepard the Dale. Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Let's talk everything dogs with Kim. The best channel for the best dog content. Today we're in Fort Loras. We'll be meeting Bongani, the owner of Intos and Nando Pools. Today we'll be learning about breeding dogs. Please, viewers, don't move, don't twitch, don't even blink. You're about to learn very interesting information about breeding. Please stay tuned and follow me. Hello viewers, as we have said that today we are honored to have Bongani from Indus and Nandi Bulls as our guest today. Um, stay tuned viewers. Hello Bongani. Kunjan Put. Anyapila Kunjan. Welcome to our show. Thank you very much for honoring the invite. Uh, it's my pleasure. So Bongani, pleasure. let's start. Yeah. Can you kindly introduce yourself to our viewers? Okay. I am Bongani, Bongani Ntonga. Uba Afo into Zimnandi Purpose. I am into Zimnandi Talk Services. Slash. Yeah. Okay. So Bongani, where did you grow up, Bongani? I am in Kulele, so we are in Pinville. Pinville. Yeah, Pinville Zone 6. And where you currently stay in Manje? Now I stay here for Slora's my Lula. Okay. Yeah. So, so Bongani, we said to Uti when I came here, it's called Indo Zimnandi Purpose. Yeah, yeah, Indo Zimnandi, very interesting name, Bongani. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can like, explain to our viewers, Uti. Yeah. Why? Simply, why simple, Indo Zimnandi? Simple, simple. Kasi kasi lingo. Yeah. Kasi logic. Mhm. Pushing the location. Mm -hmm. Breeders, yes. basically. Yes. Yeah. Then simply translation, mm -hmm. nice things. Yes. So basically, we 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 try by all means to produce nice things. Awesome, awesome viewers. Nice things. Nice viewers. things, viewers. Yes. Nyamuzu team. Nice things. Viewers. Nice things only. Yes. In English. I like it. Then Mrs. I I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. So clearly, Wongani, we can see behind uh, viewers. We can see. Behind us, we have beautiful, beautiful dogs. It's yeah. very, very clear that you really, really love dogs, Bongani. Yeah. Please tell us, Bongani, Uti, Utando Luzinja, the love for dogs. Where did it start? I don't beg, bro. Mm. I don't beg. Yes. Um, obviously, from a kid, mm -hmm. we used to have dogs. They saw it in clean. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... Basically, it started there. Yes. Because yes. we used to have dogs and Lini. Mm -hmm. Then it grew with time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It grew with time. Yes. Yeah. So, what kind of dogs did you have at home? So, mongrels, man. Mm. Abuma seven. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, location special. Yeah. Yeah. Abanye 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 I'll tell them of you as the dogs you find running around the street. Yeah, mixed breeds, basically. Yes, yes. yeah, those location casi mixed breeds. Yes, where you find a dog where it doesn't get sick. Yeah, but your normal pure breeds, they yeah. get sick. Yeah, yes. that's where it's. I know, I know, I know those ones. Yeah, basically, most, basically most of the breeders they will tell you they started there. Yes, you see, nice one, nice one, Bongani. Yeah. So, fast forward. Now Ubongani is a breeder now. Yeah. Take us through what motivated you, Obuti. Now I want to breed dogs. Hey. Basically I grew up having dogs, mm. playing with dogs. Yeah. And there was one specific guy. Mm -hmm. One, one, one specific guy. Yes. A colored friend of mine, who, who Hamish, Hamish Tree. Shout out to Hamish Tree there. Hamish Tree. That's basically a guy who taught me a pedigree. Mm -hmm. At that time, we were playing with pit bulls. Yes. You know, most, most kids growing up, yes. they like pit bulls because pit bulls are macho and, mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. Then I, go to met, I get to meet U, U Hamish. Yes. Then he saw that I love dogs, mm -hmm. especially the pits. Mm -hmm. So he taught me. 
mm. basically. Yes. The, 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 the right side of the pit bull mm -hmm. and how to read a pedigree. Mm. Why do you need a pedigree yes. for a dog? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Then he took me to shows, then I got to understand, mm. and he got to teach me the business side of it. Yes, that, yes. you know, you can also make money with dogs. Mm -hmm. Whereby we were selling dogs for 450 back then. Yes. Then when he actually taught me yes. about the, 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 the breeding of the dogs, yes. how you should breed, how you should not breed, yes. uh, I got to learn mm. more about this thing. Nice one, nice one. Yeah. Bongani, you spoke about pedigree. Pedigree. Yeah. Yeah. Break it for us. What is a pedigree? Simple explanation, mm. family tree. Yes. Basically, it's where your dog is coming from, like mm -hmm. a person as Muntonga, yes. yes. going back mm. uh, to my ancestors. Yes. That's my pedigree. Mm. So, in simple terms, it's a family tree. It's a family tree. Yeah. Mm. 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 Your father, your great grandfather, your grandfather going back. Yes. That's a pedigree. Mm. Basically, it tells you how your dog is bred. Yes. And how to move forward mm. in terms of. The breeding yes. itself, mm -hmm. yeah, because mm. that that thing is basically one of the most important things yes. in breeding. Mm. If you can learn how to read pedigrees yes. and utilize pedigrees, then you'll be able to mm. try and breed yes. properly. Nice one, nice one, Bongan. So, yeah. you make it, no, you mentioned that pedigrees are important. Important. Yeah. So. Tell us about the importance of a pedigree on a dog when it comes to temperament and the bloodline. Oh, basically, it's a research. Mm. It becomes easy for you to research yes, yes. via the pedigree. Because mm. when you read there, going mm. back, mm. eventually you'll be going to breeders or asking breeders, mm. how was this dog behaving? Yeah. How was this dog? How was this female with puppies? Mm. Yes, how yes. was this dog with... with, with, with um, the family, kids, yes. and all that. Because, mm, mm. hey, with, with dogs, it's something else. Mm. Uh, genetics yes. are very passed on strongly mm. in dogs. Yes, yes. Because they replicate mm, mm. exactly yes. in, most, in most cases. Interesting. Exactly mm. what the forefathers or the father or the mother mm. was. Yes. So a pedigree will help you in terms of the research. Mm of what you might have and what you need to breed mm. out yes. if you don't like from the line of your of your dogs that you mm. basically have. Yes. So it, it plays a big role. Interesting. Interesting. There's, there's breeders who don't care about the pedigree but mm. the dogs themselves. Yes. And yes. in most cases they end up having bad dogs. Mm -hmm. Because because yeah. Abapeganga, the pedigree. Abapeganga, the pedigree. Yeah. They didn't mind the pedigree. Yes. You understand? They, mm. they tell you, I don't care about the pedigree. Yes. I just want the dog. Awesome. Which is, yes, you, you want the dog, but you need to know the pedigree before mm. the dog itself. Because mm. these things coexist. Mm. You understand? Awesome. Awesome, Bongani. Yeah. So, Bongani, when we came to Ikeneliako, yeah. uh, as it's clear viewers from... Uh, the background we see Puru bull mm. we also see american bull is behind us yeah when did you start breeding bull bulls and american bullies because we were previously we'll, we'll, we'll push i'm a, I'm a, pit, bull. I'm a pit bulls but yeah. now you are into bull bulls mm -hmm. as well as american bullies yeah when did it start and and why this breed Bongani? So my problem, mm. my, my first problem, yes. which is sometimes a good thing and a bad thing, Yeah, I love dogs in general. Yes, yes. I love pure breeds in mm. general. Because mm. at least when you have pure breeds, you understand what you're dealing with. Awesome. Than mixed breeds. Mm, mm, mm. So I always had different breeds. Yes. But pit bulls were my favorite. Mm. Then it got to a point where there's, there's kids now involved. Yes. Uh, your lifestyle needs to start coming down. Okay. It, it can't come down with pit bulls mm. in most in most cases because mm -hmm. those are very energetic dogs and mm -hmm. they need a lot of attention. Yes. Then because of my mother liking bull bulls, mm. big dogs. Okay. I got to get my first bull bull. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Viewers, do you hear that? The you role see. of a mother. You see. Power to our mothers, viewers. Power to our mothers. So yes. she was the one who actually. 
enforced the purple thing because mm. every time she sees dogs, she'll mm. be like, hey, I like this one. Mm. 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 She sees another one, but when she sees the purple, mm. she liked the purple more. Mm. Mm. So I was like, uh, since I'm moving from 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 peoples, yes. let me rather go into the purple. Yes. You see. Then breeding the purples professionally, mm. I was helped by Elwin Malan. Okay. My friend Elwin. Mm hmm. He was the one who taught me a purple, mm. like a proper purple, yes. in terms of papers, pedigrees, mm -hmm. and how to breed them mm. professionally. Because nice. we were with him on the pit bull signs, mm. showing dogs and all that. Mm. Then the American bullies, yes. explaining them it's simple, the closest relatives to the pit bulls. Yes. Which is pit bulls are my favorite breeds. Okay. Mm. So falling into the American bully industry was easy. Yes. Because they are the closest to the pit bulls. Mm. Then they look more mm -hmm. than what we wanted from the pit bulls. Mm -hmm. And they are calmer mm -hmm. than the pit bulls. Awesome. You understand? Awesome. So going back to the pit bull breed, yes. I could only go back to, to the American bully breed. Mm. Nice one, nice one. Mm -hmm. So, Bongan, clearly you are running into Zimnandi as a business. Yeah. To our viewers who never knew that breeding can actually be a business if it's done correctly, yeah. what can you say to them, Bongan? <laughs> Basically, most mm. of the people now know mm, mm. In, in our black society yes. who never knew about the dogs, mm, mm. that you can live off dogs, yes. you see. Mm. So even now, uh, my last job was, was 2019, 2011. 2011? My last job. You've, you've never set your foot in M7Z? No. Yeah, no. Wow, that was my last job. Interesting, yeah. 2011. Mm. Um, but by then I was doing dreadlocks and dogs. Yes. So I was pushing dreadlocks, doing people's hair, mm -hmm. and breeding dogs. Yes. For a living. Nice one. Wow. You see? Nice one. So mm. it was it was nice and a bit better because even in the house they like dogs. Mm. So it became it became easy. Yes. Fast forward to now. Mm. Here at home, we're living off dogs, mm. and wow. it's been, it's been what now? Almost two years, actually two years and a couple of months. Nice one. We're mm. living basically off dogs. Mm. You understand? No one is working at home, mm. but the dogs are the ones who are supplying wow. everything. Wow, wow, nice stuff, viewers. Nice yeah. stuff, viewers. Mm. So, firstly, it, you need to really love dogs. Yes. So that you can have the patient for mm. the business. Nice. Um, mm. Because it's not easy also. Yes. Wow, I like it. I like <laughs> it. Mm. It's not easy also. Mm. Yeah, it's so, really, so, really, so really, 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 also, the, big, the biggest challenge is finances. Yes. Okay, I was, I was casual with my um, finances. We should see. Finances in the sense of buying food for the dogs. Yeah. Um, taking dogs to the vet. Yes. Clinics. Mm. Um, transportation for the dogs. Yes. Buying dogs self. Mm. Yes. Uh, paying for breedings. Mm. It's, it's, it's a lot of money yes. that goes around, mm, mm, mm. that you basically need. Yes. Then finance, finance is in a, in a sense of buying space. Okay. You see us here in the location, mm. you're living in, in, in small quarters. Yes, yes. Basically. So, so, so you can't have... Expand, you can't, yeah, when you want to expand, mm. you need to have a lot of money to yes. expand. Okay. Buy a place like a plot or something. Yes. Is, so... That's where finances come into play. Mm, mm, mm. Sometimes you find people who can see your vision and see your, your, your basically see your future. Yeah. Who have funds. Mm. Then they will promise you mm. something that won't happen. Wow. That's, that's, what, that's, that's bad. That's Whereby bad. they can see that if I can pop in there, yeah. basically we can do great things. Mm, mm. But they won't do that. Mm. So... 
dealing with with with, with breeding alone also it's, it's it's a problem it's a problem mm. you see like me also yes i have people i work with mm -hmm. every cent i make i need to share with them mm. Mm. and we still a basically a small scale of breeders yes mm. So those those are the challenges. So those right are the there. challenges. Oh. And if you don't have space, your dogs are all over. Mm. When your dogs are all over, you can't monitor your dogs properly. Mm. You lose dogs yes. because dogs die. Mm. Some people who give dogs, they can't tell if a dog is really, really, really sick. Yes. They'll probably call you when 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 when, when a dog is really bad. Yes. That you can't even save. Mm. So when it comes to finances, hey, finances mm. play big. Yeah, yeah, sure, it's coming. Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, sure, it's coming. Some people will come in and think they will make money yes. and end up quitting. Mm. So if you know to be no time, no time, no. Cool. Passion, passion. Yeah. Awesome, nice one. So on the business aspect of e, e business, yeah. Um, clientele, I was telling a clientele. Yeah. The clientele, yeah, is it local people or sometimes do you sell your dogs outside uh, South Africa as well? If you have done that, sold dogs outside South Africa, which countries have you sold is in Jazako? <laughs> okay, so far, mm. majority of the clientele is local. Yes. But I've sold dogs abroad. Abroad, okay. Yeah. Botswana, I've sold a couple of dogs in Botswana. I, I so recently sold a dog to a guy in Zimbabwe. Okay. Uh, sold dogs to guys in Mozambique. Mm -hmm. Um... I had a chance to sell dogs to guys in Nigeria and in Angola. Yes. But at least those clients are still there. Yes. So COVID really killed us mm. in that sense. Okay. You see, mm -hmm. I had a chance to sell dogs to the States. Yes. Um, COVID killed us. Mm -hmm. And the ban of dogs with countries that have high rate of, 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 of distemper. Yes. Because in, in the States, they did close. Okay for importing of dogs okay. from mm. other certain countries because yes. of this temper. Mm. I had a chance of selling dogs to Thailand. Yes. COVID killed me. Mm. Mm, that's bad. You right? understand? Yes. So I've sold a couple. Hopefully, as the world is opening up now, yes. the COVID is, is going a, down. A, we are to hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Yes. Then such things will change. Mm -hmm. Basically, the, the the dynamics of the of the breeding. Nice one. Because nice. at least there'll be more funds coming in, yes. so that you can expand. Okay, I like yeah. it, Roma. Yeah. So, on one aspect, yeah, when I learned about this, we have start services. Yeah, um, I will explain it to our viewers what are start services and if we do offer start services. Okay, start services are simple. Mm. If there's a person with a female, yeah, uh, that wants to use my mail, yes, uh, that's what we need. We call start services. Okay, they come to me, ask me, Bongs, mm. can I use your mail on yes. my female? Mm. Then we sit down, we discuss, we throw a contract. Mm. Uh, then they pay. Yes, they basically pay mm. for for using your talk. Nice Those are start services. And, How much? And, yeah, that you don't disclose. Yeah. And, and yes, I do. I do. So, you, so yeah. you do get good money? Yeah, you do get okay money. Okay money. Yeah. <laughs> For now, I can say okay money. <laughs> okay money. Yeah. Nice one. For man. now. Nice one. Yeah, I can say okay money. So, Bongani, somebody's watching the show now. Yeah. And then the Muntu Uti yes, says, I really love these dogs behind uh, yeah. behind us. Yeah. You know, pool, yeah. or funa e American pool. Yeah. Um, I'm a first time. I don't know these dogs. Yeah. What can you say to, to them, Bongan? Uh, simple research. Mm. Yes. Whatever breed you want, mm. sit down. Now it's easy because yeah. we're using smartphones. Definitely. We always have internet. Yes. In our pockets. Yes with everything basically mm. so you just google purples and you read about purples nice one then you visit breeders yes you then with the breeders you'll get a, a good knowledge yes about the purples mm. or any breed yes than the internet mm. in most cases nice one. so the simplest thing is the research research, research mm. meaning googling 
uh, running around, yes. visiting breeders, mm-hmm. getting to know breeders, yes. and also save. Hmm. Save money and, and, and support breeders. Okay, nice yeah. one. And then I have an email also for the Ugula So Ish. that the dog does not go hungry. Yeah, hand to maintain and the And also dog the health also. of the dog as well. Basically, even, even if it's not the mali, but a plan. A plan, yes. Yeah, a good plan. Nice when one. you go buy a dog, you mm. must have a good plan on how to, to like raise that. the dog. Yeah. I like that. I like that. You Make friends with vets. Yes. Make friends with breeders. Yes. It becomes easier. No, don't become an island. Yes. And don't be arrogant. Yes. Mm-hmm. Don't be arrogant. Hey. You see? Because mm-hmm. hey, there's some breeders which are arrogant and they end up hitting a, 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 a brick wall. Yes. Okay. You no. see? Mm-hmm. So, if you want to breed dogs, you need to mingle with everyone. Yes. Yeah. I like that. It's thing. the same as business. In yes. business, you need to take your personal issues mm. and put them aside. Yes, seven, and push seven and abandu. Yeah, and push business. And mm. Because people will help you at mm. the end of the day. No, no, no I totally agree on that. Yeah. One. So, Lana is a very, very beautiful puppy, Lana. Yeah. Um, I presume this is one of the puppies you have bred, right? Yeah. So, uh, I'm a viewers, they are watching, but wow, 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 what a puppy. <laughs> and I, turned, I love this puppy. Yeah. And I want to buy my dog from Ubongani. Yeah. So, Bongani, how do our viewers get hold of you? Uh, powerful, simple. Yeah. Everything, actually, everything about Ninja into Zimnani is simple. Yeah. Ah, Simpl- because Simpl- simplicity. Yeah. Simplicity. Yeah. Simple. yeah. Just go on Facebook, yeah. look for Ntozimnani Purpools. Definitely. You'll find us. Yes. Um, My personal page. Yes. Uh, Bongani Ntonga. Yes. Um, on Instagram, yes. Ntonga Sin. Yes. Yeah, on Instagram. Nice. There's one. other platforms that we trying to tackle recently. Yeah. Like Abu 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 TikTok. Yes. Abu Twitter. Mm-hmm. Nama website and all that stuff. Yes. So a lot of things are coming. I like. I'm a channel also like mm. what you're doing right now. Yes. Whereby you can follow up and always mm-hmm. give content. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Viewers. You heard it for yourself, viewers. If you want to get one of these beautiful puppy, Bongani is your man. Bongani, yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bafu. For this great interview. Yeah. Even myself, I've learned a lot yeah. from you. Yeah. And I trust viewers that you have learned a lot from Obongani mm. on the business aspect of breeding. No guti elokshini, bakona abantu ababa breeder internet dogs. Yeah. Internet dogs is inja you see. Only on the internet. Yeah. Mongani is a perfect example. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. See you on the next episode. Cheers.